A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing people out there to the channel Twin Flame Union. This particular audio is about the fact that there are a lot of people who are working for the union and they are working to get ascension. However, they are feeling that there is a delay and for some reason the union has not taken place. For some reason the separation has not ended. And for this the from the universal source the masters who are specialized in twin flame unions are talking right now and they are saying they are sharing this piece of information that can totally change the game for people who are waiting for union and they're stuck in some sort of loop of time that seems to be not ending before they do that they are actually giving this uh, warning message that there are lots and lots and lots of people who are on the public forums and platforms who are providing twin flame readings twin flame healings and twin flame guidance and a lot of whole lot of spiritual shops have also opened up around the twin flame union concept some people are even offering you twin flame unions so the masters are saying and this is very important that in order to get a twin flame union you first need to get over the desire of twin flame union what everyone else is telling you and they are very attractive videos and audios and they are very attractive healings and people are calling you to them people are saying come on guys come to me i will give you the union you get healing done from me i will give you the healing you get this done from me i will do it it's all right to get into some sort of training it's all right to work with the master it's all right to work with a teacher but in many cases you would see that the information is actually irrelevant not only it is irrelevant it creates an anxiety it creates a desire more desire to be in the union so what happens is that people leave everything that they are doing they are not in the present moment and they are sitting and assuming or expecting that the union is going to happen they have not been living in the present moment they are living in the future or they are living in the past you only can live in the future if you have attachments in the past or you have had some sort of situation that took place in the past which was not in your favor the masters are also saying that to be in the twin flame union you also have to let go of the concept of time you have to learn patience and patience comes with detachment and detachment comes from suffering at least in this journey this is how it's going to be once you get fed up fed up of waiting fed up of trying fed up of doing then only you can get detached but you need to reach to a point where you will get fed up so this is going to happen organically naturally twin flame relationships are designed in such a way that everything happens on its own you don't have to do anything trust me on that meeting the twin happens on its own and then the intense connection you feel happens on its own without doing anything without any trial without any practice or in some cases the twin flame meeting happens out of the blue unexpectedly it happens but when it happens the person the people involved feel this intense connection that they had never felt before and then all the other stages also happen one by one there is crisis that happens on its own there is separation that happens on its own then there is letting go happens on its own then there is detachment and surrender that happens on its own radiance happens on its own union everything happens on its own that is how the journey is planned obviously when you are confused when you don't know what's happening to you that is the time you will search for information and that is all right it's okay to search for information it's all right to uh get relevant information but you're only attracting irrelevant information and people who are 
offering you things is because inside your heart and mind you still need to learn the lesson of recognizing between fake and real so my friends who are listening to this channeling session this is not against anybody who is doing some work in this area and uh, it is only specifically for you all that you must benefit the most from this channeling that you must find your way out so the masters are saying that to get any desire fulfilled you need to let go of that desire fully and that's a natural process it happens on its own so when something is happening on its own when something is happening out of divine intervention or because of divine intervention then it has to happen that way only for example all the trauma you went through all the torture you went through all the all the bad emotions you went through those are the emotions that are going to lead to detachment for some of you if it still not happened if you don't go through all those painful emotions and if you don't patiently wait and wait and wait for the divine masculine to say sorry to you to apologize to you or to even you know just accept that yeah whatever happened was not right or whatever way he perceived you the image he formed of you in his mind is not the real you when will he know that when will he realize so you have to wait for that and when you wait and you're done waiting and you're sick and tired of waiting you do not want to wait anymore you don't even care anymore it's like you say okay i let this thing go i don't want to do anything now i don't want to wait or i don't want to stalk or i don't want to check or i don't want to think anything i just want it all to vanish to go away you suddenly remember all the hurtful things he said to you you suddenly start remembering all the bad things he did to you you suddenly start remembering all the betrayals he gave to you you will also remember the way he fooled you all the things that he did to you one by one by one in this journey you will remember when you remember and when you realize that he's not been nice to you although he is being very nice to all the other people in his life he's being so nice to the karmics he's being so nice to all the people who are against you so when you realize that that somebody is just not even bothered about you that's when you get like a wake up call you snap out of it you snap out of that desire that what am i desiring for uh, am i desiring for something that even makes sense i don't want to desire anymore i don't want to run after this person anymore which means i don't want to chase this person anymore i am done chasing when you're done chasing automatically you let go and you let god automatically you're detached and you start focusing on the things that matter to you which brings you to the present moment so coming to the present moment it's also happening organically when you start looking at yourself when you start doing things that you love not the things that other people love or other people are voting for or other people are telling you will be good and bad for you the things you genuinely love the things that you cannot stop doing the things that naturally come to you just how breathing comes to you naturally when you start doing those things that's when you start aligning with the present moment so the masters are saying that in this journey what is the most important thing is to be aligned in the present moment now to be in the present moment you could be have to behave in certain manner which i'm not going to discuss right now but you have to be in the present moment if you have little bit of past or future that means you're still not there you're still in on and off situation so forget about the divine masculine forget about the union is what they are saying and this is specifically for people who are going to resonate with it right now because i have been doing other channelings also and there's one more channeling that i will share right after this not like right away but after this so the divine masculine as per another channeling that i've received is really in pain and suffering and those who have also healed are still some of them are remorsing and those who have even asked for marriage even they are not you know they are also anxious will she say yes will she actually even if she has said yes they are still thinking is she does she even mean it 
the yes that yes she will be with me does she even mean it so they are going through anxiety and they have to go through this anxiety as well because you have gone through so much depression they are going to mirror that depression with anxiety and you have also been very anxious you know you were waiting for so long you were so patient you were so full of anxiety though you were doing your inner work but you have gone through those phases so the divine masculine will also mirror it in some way or the other so on this note i would like to also add on to one final point which i have been given that this twin flame journey is a very hard journey twin flame journey is all about learning through suffering why do you have to learn through suffering because you are playing an important role and to play that role in order to be well equipped and eligible to play that role of raising the frequency of planet earth you need to go through certain stages of suffering that make you a humanitarian for real because if you go by the simple standards of life and death karmic uh, debt and all that then you would not be able to achieve this goal in one lifetime in order to achieve your goal in one lifetime and by which i mean this lifetime previously whether you were in another galaxy whether you were you are a star seed whether you are an earth soul whatever is the it's in the past in this lifetime you have to get the twin flame union you have to get to that point in order to go to that point you need to go through all these years of torture suffering so if you have you know just stumbled upon the twin flame concept and you are hoping that it will happen in one year or two years no it will not it is going to take time for those of you who have gone through union situation a little earlier in life as compared to others it's also because your childhoods were more traumatic and they were very difficult most of the twin flame unions this time are going to happen for different waves for different people but they all and again like i said the age group don't go by the age that you have the human age don't go by these concepts of time age gender twin flames are above all of this you could be 80 years old and getting a twin flame union the love of your life at the age of 80 and there are so many stories like that you could be in your mid 20s you could be in your 30s you could be 40 50 whatever it does not matter whatever problems you had between you and your twin they need to first be resolved and it is the universe it is god it is the source that is going to do that you don't bother now you are not supposed to be bothered and if this resonates with you then this is your answer do not bother let it go let go and let god it's time for surrender you have waited a lot you have been very patient you don't think the results are there you don't think it's happening it means you are still attached to it you need to get fully detached forget about it this is how you win in the twin flame journey you have to first forget about the twin flame concept not like my mentally forget the does um, sorry the definition but forget about it at in a way that it's like you're not running after it you're not chasing it you're not desperate for it you're not anxious for it you just don't care you accept divine intervention you accept whatever god gives to you whatever god gives to you whatever literally whatever if tomorrow god plans to not give you any union that's okay too for you nothing matters what matters is your peace of mind your soul connection with the universe with god with the supreme entity and if this connection that you have with your twin is giving you so much anxiety so much trouble you're not in the present moment then what's the point of being in that the whole idea is to bring you into the present moment and stabilize you in the present moment if you're not stable in the present moment you would not be able to do anything that you're here for all right so i'm going to end this channeling here keep believing in yourself and most importantly the connection you have with the source that is the most important thing that we are here for to strengthen 
to first connect and then strengthen and then stabilize that connection thank you so much for being here all the very best to you good night